everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Maud Toussaint Como this is the channel where we talk about fragrances and arts today I am doing a tag video I was tagged by JP to do a tag video called swag frag <laughs> swag frag <laughs> So I was really excited about that video because it's my understanding is it's about men's perfumes. <laughs> so I've not done any men's review yet. So I was very excited to do it. Although I'm not going to go into notes so much. These are gifts that I have given <laughs> to my husband and there are certain feels i think that those fragrances invoke and that's what i am about to talk about now what's interesting about those fragrances is that they all have a common theme in terms of the ingredients that are contained in those or the notes in those fragrances or at least the main notes so i'll make reference to that so i can say that i have a <laughs> swag um team right here of fragrances and i am too happy to share them now the first set of fragrances that i feel that have swag and i think what swag means is a very cocky a very confident man and I think that the note vetiver is one of those notes that is so masculine <laughs> and it's green and fresh and I think that's the type of notes that tend to be very masculine so even before I knew that I had found myself being drawn to fragrances that have vetiver in them for men and the first one is commodity vetiver commodity and that's around the haitian vetiver and this version of it is just so smooth i think it's for the smooth operator swag <laughs> and Someone who is just very smooth, who knows how to speak, you know, and charm people around him and who, without really forcing it too much. Who is just very confident and elegant. And I think because it's, it's so grounded, well grounded, and it's not, it's loud without trying to be loud. And that's commodity and that's my first swag. <laughs> Frag. The second version of a vetiver that I think that you have to have swag to wear this one because this is the rugged swag guy who's like climbing the mountains and 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 just doing all those energetic things and that's by war spirit and it's citadel. Again, it's around the Haitian vetiver, and this one is a more perhaps rugged and medicinal vetiver than this one. And it's as if you are climbing this mountain top where the citadel is in Haiti. So it's just a very adventurous, sporty swag type of uh, vetiver fragrance so that's my second my third vetiver is even the presentation i still have the box it's vetiver cedar cedar and it's by chantecai This one is elegance, swag, <laughs> to the highest level. Mm. 
Mm. Between the woody cedar and the beautiful vetiver, and yet it has other spices in it, this makes for elegance incarnated <laughs> swag. So that's my third swag frag and all three so far have been vetiver. Now let's move to another note that's also fresh and green and it's a note that I'm realizing a lot of swag fragrances have for men and it's a little bit unsuspected in fact i bought these fragrances for me and that's geranium odorata by diptyque i actually bought this fragrance for me thinking oh it's so light it's geranium it's flower and then when i wore it something was so tenacious was in it and it just lasted forever and it just smelled very very interesting until i realized that it's actually really designed for men and it's a tribute to the geranium flower of course that men wears in the buttonholes and you know the diptych presentation is just amazing and this is this geranium is just so so beautiful it's soapy so this is for the <laughs> sort of clean white linen suit with a t-shirt underneath type of swag <laughs> i don't want to go as far as the 80s like miami vice but that would be the original swag <laughs> for those of my age but this geranium that's what i see a swag guy you know in the caribbean dancing salsa and has those you know wonderful cuban shirt on and and so forth and being on vacation on the boat this is a perfect swag frag for an occasion like that and that geranium actually i believe there is also some geranium in this one that i just talked about the tv i said so the geranium is just create this green without being fern like and which tend to be not as sophisticated so the geranium end up being really smooth really nice so that's my second note for uh, ultra swag guy the these are also fresh and i don't know the notes i just know the feel and you can see <laughs> that's probably the eighth bottles that i've purchased for my husband and i just love having this amazing guy with so much swag and so much confidence and so much <laughs> groundingness wearing Brooks Brothers and it's just classy and freshness and modern all at once and that's just swag all the way <laughs> that's the intellectual swag type the guys with the wheat with the beauty inside out the great father the great husband it's that type of swag <laughs> so brooks brother that's another swag team right there now let's move to some level of swag that is but i would buy lavender notes as we know, lavender has been used a lot in 
men's fragrance because it has this barbella quality and it just creates this sophistication when done well and I have three fragrances here which I didn't even know were lavender I just knew I would love them on my husband because he, he, he has so much swag without even trying to have swag like he has swag like incarnated swag so there's three fragrances that I come to understand that I just really love and they're based with lavender and this is Aqua di Parma and this one again is the same type of Brooks Brothers, except that it's even higher quality. Oh my God, it's green, it's beautiful. So it has this lavender, you can smell it and the lavender is so calming. And so when you have the type of swag that has so much certainty, that has so much confidence, the lavender brings this kind of cool, confidence into that swag and that's the type of swag where <laughs> you can let <laughs> the whole country be run in style if you know what I mean by this swag <laughs> because that's the swag that's capable of doing things and it's doing it in style and confidence so that's Aqua di Palma and it has lavender in it I also understand that Blue de Chanel also has lavender and it's your swag all the way when it comes to this one add some fun to the swagness where the Aqua di Palma did that also because it would take you on a yacht right there after you've been in the executive suite <laughs> and the Blue Chanel is also coming with all its swag it's big player swag right there beautiful and fun and I think La Nuit de l'Homme may also have lavender in it and what can I say I think we all know about La Nuit de l'Homme it's just attractiveness swagness all the way <laughs> now speaking of lavender the mother of lavender is this creation right here by Frederick Moore and Carlos Benign and that's music for a while this is an ode to open like this so beautiful so masculine although I love it <laughs> for me but this is a lavender fragrance that they add the pineapple to it so this makes it so fun I like to think of just sting wearing it just a very musical swag person wearing this even getting a little bit closer to a metro sexual someone so refined so creative so fun that's the swag that's taking you to see the latest most hip band and but that has no problem also taking you to the premiere of the symphony for the season. He holds season tickets for the opera house. <laughs> that's the swag we're talking about here, music for a while. And that's lavender and that's brought to this incredible, most fun, urban, Parisian level with the pineapple right here. Swag, swag, swag. I don't even know what number because those swags just whew, blow me up. 
and we have another set of swag so i think most of these have been pretty fresh and upbeat and energetic these other ones are a bit more mysterious in their swagness but st still very fun and they're the group of swag fragrance that are a bit more boozy and they have oud in them and I have a couple here something like Tom Ford Noir that's just beautiful men right there with swag that's the only way we can describe it and then we have this rose and this oud and that's Isiana Terenzi Caput Mandi. This one, it's the three piece suit. <laughs> Pretty much like Paolo Terenzi. Like if you see him where, you know, with this swag, he's this, the, the perfumer. He is, you know, he's on the boat and he has his three-piece, thread suit on. <laughs> and just always put together, always feeling inspired by a next creation. So there is a lot of mystery to this one, but at the same time, so much intensity. So that's the type of swag that this sort of darker rose wood fragrance bring so these are my list of swag fragrances that i am most impressed on on my husband that most of them have sort of gifted them to him so uh, i probably enjoy them even much more than he does so and that's what a swag guy is all about He's not even thinking too much about how much of a swag he has, but he just has them. And I have my little tools of swag frags that I've just bought to just... They couldn't come close to compliment because he's swag <laughs> incarnated. But I was very happy to share some of those swag frag for a beautiful swag guy so i hope you enjoyed my pics of swag frag <laughs> fragrances i thank jb for tagging me to this very fun topic and i will link all the youtubers who have taken on that tag into this video so i think i'm the only woman who is in that bunch of cool guys who are uh, pick their swag frag so i'm very honored and pleased by that so yes it was really fun and if you've not yet subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate that you do and until next time bye